So, we are going to pour the Clorox bleach into the cup and then use a Q-tip. And I'm going to show you guys some examples of water damage. Here's one. And here's what it should look like. You actually will see... Um, it's hard for me to adjust this with my camera phone. There's actually like pink little lines, X's that go along this. Um, the majority of the time, if this is just white versus uh, being pink, you're not going to have any problems. So, let me show you what bleach does to these guys. It's kind of cool. You see the, uh, the results right away. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour just a little bit. Not a lot. Uh, just a little bit of bleach. Not too much. You don't need a lot really about all you really need. You just need to dab it. Uh, go ahead and put the cap back on here. And let me show you guys. So we're going to dab this. Get it nice and wet. And then let me show you guys what it's going to do. And here we go. bleaching it and you can just see I mean really you can see it come off right away <laughs> sorry about the uh, the lens not focusing these camera phones aren't too good at that and then just keep bleaching it until it comes out take the other side of the q-tip and then dry it look at that I'm going to do it one more time to make it even more white. It's pretty much all the uh, all the pink and red gone. I bleached it. This will work. That's kind of uh, your final result. Is It's white. There you go. Went from uh, pink reddish to white. I mean, look how white that is. Pretty easy, guys. I'm using a very, very old, I mean, this is a very old phone. I'm just trying to show you guys examples, you know. Um, but they also have the water indicators inside here. And on the new phones, they, you'll actually have on the the top of your phone right here is the uh, auxiliary port. They'll actually sometimes, if you look, take a flashlight and look, you know, pretty deep inside here, there's a water indicator there in there as well. So be careful. Um, if, if there's one and if you have to unscrew it and get that to that one, but a lot of times there's not, but uh, you know, I have worked with some that there is, um, but you know, the back of the, of any phone, there's a water cater usually about right here where the sticker is at, but on this particular model, it's, uh, way up there, which is, you know, really, really easy. I can get to no problem. Um, uh, kind of the same thing we just did is, uh, I don't really have anybody helping here, so I'm kind of doing this on my own here. But kind of what we just did here before is you um, get it wet with the bleach and then uh, you go ahead and uh, you bleach it. Just dab it. So all you're really doing is dabbing. I mean, really, I can keep those X's too if you if I want to. I just got to really get rid of that pink that's uh, between the X's, and that's what I just did actually. If you go really, really light on the bleach, you can actually still keep those X's if you wanted to. Uh, if it's not too too bad, if it's full on red, um, uh, you're better off just bleaching it pure white. Um, there's two different kinds of um, techniques that the uh, factories use. They use either a pure white sticker or they use a sticker with X's that have uh, the, um, the, uh, the ink that will absorb onto it if it gets wet. Um, either way, you can, you can bypass this pretty easy with bleach. But, uh, um, I mean, look at what I'm doing. I'm bleaching it and then taking the other side of it and then I'm drying it. 
pretty easy, guys.